Before the fall season kicks off, there's one more major summer WWE PPV to get through. And the event I'm alluding to is wrestling's self-proclaimed biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam. In 2016, Brooklyn's Barclays Center played host to the mega event. That trend's going to continue for the 2017 edition of this to joint operation between both the Raw and SmackDown Live's brands. Feuds that have been raging on since the warmer months of the year began will probably see their conclusion at SummerSlam. At the top of the card is the blockbuster Fatal 4-Way WWE Universal Championship match. Current title holder Brock Lesnar will go to war with the three biggest rivals Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman. This match and the other planned matchups on for this year's SummerSlam are so big, the event's getting an extra hour to feature them all, Neville vs Akira Tezawa with Titus O'Neil WWE Cruiserweight Championship The Titus brand may have hit a snag back at Great Balls of Fire, but now it's back in the winning seat with Akira Tezawa in tow. Tezawa fought his way back into becoming the number one contender for Raw's Cruiserweight Championship. This signals a rematch between Neville and the Japanese stalwart, that I for one can't wait to see. Neville's been seemingly unstoppable ever since he became the champ, but I think time is running out for the king of the cruiserweights. Tezawa will be the one to finally dethrone him thanks to some outside assistance from his overly excited agent. Tezawa will celebrate with his newly won championship not knowing that he got it through some unseen assistance from Titus. The way this match ends will give Neville all the reason in the world to ask for a championship rematch sooner rather than later. Bet on it. She's already beaten back the challenge of a top contender in the form of Sasha Banks, plus she's found so many ways to avoid having to take on the massive Nia Jax. But Bailey's been on her tail for a good while now. Bailey's run on Raw hasn't been as amazing as her NXT tenure, but it seems like she's getting a better opportunity to shine on the main roster. Bailey's number one contendership match against Banks granted her the victory needed to get her on the card for this year's SummerSlam. When Bliss and Bailey finally lock up, I'm expecting it to go long and give the crowd a match. That will certainly surpass the SD Live's Women's Championship contest. Bliss has been doing her thing for a good while now but all good things must eventually come to an end. Bliss reign will end here, Bailey will become the new champion and head right into a beef that also includes Banks, who's signaling a heel turn that I can't wait to see unfold. Naomi vs Natalia WWE SmackDown Women's Championship Naomi's title run has been non-eventful, to say the least. Her matches against Charlotte were decent enough, but her later bouts vs Lana were pretty much glorified squash matches. I feel like Natalia is a solid member of the roster, who can always be called upon, to provide a match worth watching. But it's hard to deny how stale she's become compared to her more interesting contemporaries. Sure, she became the number one contender at Battleground. But it didn't really get me excited or more interested in SD Live's women's division. This match will be far from horrendous. It should be much better than expected since both of these ladies know how to turn up a bit more on the big PPV stage. My gut's telling me Naomi's going to retain after a hard-fought match that will leave her gasping for air and grabbing the ropes for support. This will signal the Linus, who's currently holding on to the women's MITB briefcase, Carmella. The cash-in and sudden title change will go down here. Naomi's retaining, then Carmella's taking the title home just a few minutes after. Watch. Randy Orton vs Rusev Rusev is finally an active member of the SD Live roster and he walked right into a cliched match against a very patriotic John Cena. But still, Rusev deserves better than evil foreign heel who's evil. I miss the short tenure of Rusev, but he's back to being a very peeved off heel. So he asked for some worthy competition to go against at SummerSlam and the master of the RKO answered his call. So now it's official Rusev's going to take on another major pillar of the SD Live roster. 
I'm going all in on a Rusev victory here. He just ate a big pinfall loss from Cena and it would just be too much of a kick to the nades for him to take an L from Orton. Rusev will and has to get the win here to salvage what little is left of his badassery. The New Day vs. The Usos Jimmy Uso and G Uso for WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship After the amazing contest this group of talent put on at Battleground, count me all the way in for this rematch. The Usos have been out for blood ever, since the SmackDown Live tag straps were taken from them. They have no time for all the happy-go-lucky shenanigans and celebratory title celebrations of their rivals. As for the new tag team champions, the New Day is riding high and ready to beat back the threat of the Usos once again. Their title reign seems to be something that will go just as long as the reign they enjoyed while on Raw. Which lets me know that the New Day are going to become the victors after another high-octane bout at the Barclays. This feud won't come to a close, though. There just aren't a whole lot of teams that can present an actual threat to the New Day at this point. AJ Styles vs. Kevin Owens WWE United States Championship match with Shane McMahon, as the special guest referee the United States Championship is enjoying a nice little hot streak right now. The two men responsible for turning that title into the top prize on the blue brand are AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. Styles claimed the championship during a MSG house show, Owens got it right back at Battleground then Styles reclaimed it on the following episode of SD Live. All that madness has led up to Owens losing a rematch that was mired in controversy. So now Styles vs Owens is going down again and this time, Shane O'Mac is the one who will be donning the referee duds. I was hoping this match would have been turned into a ladder match to lessen the chances of this match ending via a screwy finish, but oh well. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm expecting here. Somehow some way, Styles will end up retaining the United States Championship over Owens. Owens will have all the reason in the world to be even more pissed at Shane when he makes the three count after something Owens deems unfair happens to him. Jinder Mahal vs. Shinsuke Nakamura WWE Championship I am shocked. As someone who's been doing this wrestling prediction thing for a couple years now, my gut told me that WWE was going to go all patriotic again. I wanted no parts of Mahal vs Cena, but that seemed like the most expected move to make for SD Live's marquee match. Then the most shocking result of all took place Shinsuke Nakamura faced John Cena for the very first time, and ended up beating him. So there you have it, folks Jinder Mahal's next title challenger is Shinsuke Nakamura. India vs Japan The modern day Maharaja vs. The artist Mahal's beaten back Orton on three separate occasions and he now has the added muscle of the great Kali backing him up. So the odds are definitely stacked against Nakamura. I think Nakamura might actually pull a good to great match out of Jinder, which will end up being one of the biggest shockers of the evening. Nakamura will be on the verge of defeating Jinder several times throughout this bout and have the crowd biting on every near fall. But I still foresee Mahal being the man leading with the WWE Championship around his waist. Mahal's mini army will help him keep his hold on the title for just a little bit longer. Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman vs Roman Reigns vs Samoa Joe vs Braun Strowman Fatal 4-Way Match for the WWE Universal Championship I'm so hyped for this. While Samoa Joe vs Brock Lesnar wasn't as incredible as it turned out to be, I'm still excited at the prospect of seeing them meeting each other in the ring again. But this time, Two more beasts will join them in the Lion's Den Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman. What makes this match all the more interesting is the threat from Lesnar's advocate. Heyman's made it clear that if Lesnar loses his grip around the Universal Championship, they'll both walk away from WWE. This announcement falls right around the time where rumors of Lesnar returning to the UFC are running rampant John Jones called him out. Plus there were rumors of Lesnar going back into USADA testing. 
So I'm sure whoever's reading this right now thinks there's a slight chance that this match may provide an out for Lesnar so he can head back to the world of MMA.